Hold it right there, Earthquaker. Stop that evil doing. Your low calorie threats mean nothing to me. Take that, Captain the Elephant. And your lunch boxes are no match for the foul weatherman. Now, we shall take the cosmic eraser, and with it, we shall control the world! Not so fast, Dust Devil! Pajama Man! I'll spin you to the four corners of the Earth, do gooder! My handy dandy Pajama Man superpower back says different! Pajama Man, you suck! <laughs> Exactly! Alright! It's okay. It's just a little thunder and lightning. Thunder and lightning aren't so frightening. Thunder and lightning aren't so frightening. <laughs> Thunder and lightning aren't so frightening, but I'm scared. <coughs> Someone's got to go upstairs and do something about this weather. This looks like a job for... Pajama Sam! I know I left my Pajama Sam cape around here somewhere. I better find it. I've got to be on the lookout for pieces to my puzzle. Play a game. To win the game, you need to get your pieces all the way around the board, back to their home. The spinner in the middle tells you which color to move to next. Choose the pieces you want to be. You picked ice cubes. The ice cubes go back to the snow cloud. It's your turn. It's your turn. You can move to a yellow square.
to start for you.
Back to start for you! Play again?
Nope, nothing here. Nothing under here but dust. Nothing in here. But Gemma Sam is ready for action. Now I can go upstairs and take care of all this thunder and lightning. I'd better get upstairs and do something about this. That's me when I was little. the weather comes from. Thunder and lightning must work there. It says worldwide weather. Watch out, thunder and lightning. Pajama Sam is coming! What do you want? I'd like to go inside, East. Are you an employee? No. Sorry, no visitors. A crowbar? I bet this will come in handy. I'm Pajama Sam. I need to go inside so I can stop the thunder and lightning. Forget it. No visitors. Couldn't I please go inside? No. No visitors. Take your job. Oh yes, it's very fulfilling. I've already kept out dozens of potential intruders just this morning. Really? No, actually not too many people come up here. Do you ever get bored standing here all day long? No, it gives me time to think. What do you think about? Nothing. Will you let me in now? No.
Worldwide weather employee identification card. Foster Boondoggle. Do not lose this card. Maybe there's a lost and found somewhere where I can turn this in. to worldwide weather, sir. Thank you. can do to make you more comfortable, please let us know. Hey, that tickles. <laughs> hey, that tickles. <laughs> Welcome to the World Wide Weather Automated Response System. If you know the extension you wish to reach, you may dial it at any time. For our hours of operation or directions to World Wide Weather, press 1. To suggest a new kind of weather, press 2. To reach our complaints department, press 3. To talk to an operator, press 0. The offices of Worldwide Weather are located directly upwards from your home or place of work, and we are open 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, including holidays. Please call ahead for appointments. Thank you for calling Worldwide Weather. Hello, Suggestions Department. Did you want to suggest a new type of weather? Um, what about room temperature snow for the summer? Oh, we've already got that. It's called mud. I never thought of that. Thanks for your call. You're welcome. Hello, Suggestions Department. Did you want to suggest a new type of weather? Cherry flavored rain. Cherry flavored rain, eh? That's a pretty good idea. I'll put it on the Lear call. You're welcome. Hello, Suggestions Department. Did you want to suggest a new type of weather? How about weather where the air gets thick so you can swim in it? You've obviously never been to Los Angeles. Well, no, but... Thanks for your call. Sure. Hello, Suggestions Department. Did you want to suggest a new type of weather? Um, let's see. Um... Look, I'm kind of busy here. Call me back when you've thought of it. Okay. Bye-bye. Hello, Complaints Department, Sheila speaking, even though I'm starting to get hoarse from having to talk on the phone all day. 
and my back. Oh, I'm starting to get a sharp pain in my lower back from sitting in this stiff chair. Um, thanks, thanks department. Hello, Complaints Department, Sheila speaking, even though I'm starting to get hoarse from having to talk on the phone all day. My next door neighbor plays his stereo so loud it's curdling the milk in my refrigerator and all my cats are scared to come home. Thank you for calling the Complaints Department. Hello, Complaints Department, Sheila speaking, even though I'm starting to get hoarse from having to talk on the phone all day. This morning, I tried to buy some candy from the vending machine in the lunchroom, and it got stuck and wouldn't come out. I hate it when that happens. Thank you for calling the complaints department. Thank you for calling the complaints department. We are now on strike on account of I'm getting carpal tunnel syndrome from picking up the phone all day long. Some kind of lock. Uh oh, I think it ate the card. I hope it wasn't too important. Oh, calm down, would you, dear? It's just a little boy. I'm Pajama Sam! I've come to put a stop to this thunderstorming business. I think we've really outdone ourselves this time. Isn't it wonderful? Uh, well, actually... I do enjoy a good storm. And it will be so helpful for the plants and things. I never... Shifting power to backup generators. Adjusting horizontal hold. That should hold it for now. Damage report. Looks like a few pieces have been shaken loose. Oh my gosh! Look at this weather! Hurricanes in Egypt! Tornadoes in Toledo! This is going to... Um, can I help? Help! No one can help! We're doomed! Quiet! As a matter of fact, there is something you can do. Lightning and I have important work to do here, so we need you to help fix the weather machine. How do I do that? This is a list of pieces that have come off the machines. We need you to find them and put them back where they belong. Will you do that? Never fear, ma'am. Pajama Sam always helps people in need. Hey, is that a donut? Yes, it's a donut. No, you can't have it. How's the weather? The Black Sea is turning orange. How's the weather? The tornadoes are sideways in Toronto. How's the weather? The snow is falling up in the... How's the weather? There's a pink hurricane in the Sahara Desert. How's the weather? There are sandstorms in Siberia. Hey, that one looks sunny. I know. Unfortunately, that's Seattle. Oh, what a mess. How's the weather? It's raining frogs in Frankfurt. How's the weather? It's hailing taxi cabs in Texas. How's the weather? The thunder is squeaky in Peoria. Hey, a puzzle piece. I should pick those up. <laughs> I'd better not touch that again. How are things going, Sam? I'm not exactly sure what to do. Have you looked at the... No. Take a look at it. You find the pieces that are listed on there and put them back where they belong. Hi. Ah! Oh my goodness. I'm sorry. 
I'm very tense. The weather's completely out of control, and I don't know what to do. Don't worry. I'm going to fix the weather machines. Okay. Okay, that's good. Everything's all right. I'll just work on the report. Hello again, sir. Oh, pleased to meet you, Sam. You can call me Otto. Rock fancier. Train your pet rock to fetch using cheese. Airline food fancier. Cheese substitutes made from plastics. Dish soap fancier. How to handle that baked on cheese. Say, I don't think this belongs here. I'd better hang on to it until I can figure out where it goes. You're looking particularly nice today. Thanks. We haven't met before, have we? Oh, don't mind them. They're complimentary nuts. I see. Your skin is the most fabulous shade of blue. I'll bet you're really smart. You look smart. How come they do that? I don't know for sure, but if you ask me, I think they do it to keep you from eating them. How do you get your hair to do that? Did anyone ever tell you you have a terrific smile? Have an appointment. Appointment? Certainly. You can't see anyone without an appointment. Oh. Do you have an appointment, sir? No. I can't let you back there without an appointment. <coughs> you can't see anyone without an appointment. <coughs> Hello again, sir. Two employees for appointment style four, seven, eight. Hello again, sir. Welcome to the world. Worldwide weather, how may I help you? I'd like to make an appointment to see someone. Certainly. Let me check his calendar. Yes, Mr. Salmon is available immediately. I'll pencil you in. What is your name? I'm Pajama Sam. I'm helping. Very good, Mr. Sam. Mr. Salmon will see you just as soon as you arrive. Goodbye. <coughs> do you have an appointment? Yes, I do. I'm Pajama Sam. I'm helping. Ah, yes, here it is. Go right on in, Mr. Sam. Mr. Someone is ready for you. Thanks. I could have been a contender. You'd be amazed how little respect I get. The stories I could tell you, oh boy!
You know the asteroids are coming, only a matter of time. One of these days, we trash cans are gonna be these days. <coughs> Lucille, I love you, gal. Where you been? Actually, Baltimore is one of my favorite cities. You'd be amazed how little respect I get. Hey, aren't you the Y Pi? Not so. I've been looking for you. You have? Why? I'm looking for all the important pieces to the weather machines. Really? Why? So I can put you all back and fix the machines. Why would you want to do that? Because all the weather everywhere is going crazy, and thunder and lightning are in trouble, and, and it's sort of my fault. What did you do to cause all of that? Never mind that now. It's not important. You've got to come with me. I'd love to, but I can't get out of this vending machine by myself. Think you could help me out? Pajama Sam never abandons someone who needs help. Thanks. That's good to know. It's occupied. Ah. Hi, I'm Pajama Sam. Who sent you? I'm working very hard. You'd be amazed what a difficult job it is being in charge of, 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 of all, all the supplies. I'm sure it is. George someone sent you over here to, 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 to check up on me, didn't he? He thought you'd catch me not doing my job so he can get that, that big promotion, right? No, nobody sent me over here. Nobody? Uh-huh. Really? Really. Well, <laughs> that's a relief. There's one. <laughs> Employee of the month. Can I have one of these? Absolutely. That was too easy. W well, c can you keep a secret? Sure. I accidentally ordered a thousand of those when I was only supposed to get a dozen. Whoops. I'm trying to get rid of them before anyone notices. Take a few more. Thanks, but I think I really only want one. Oh, all right. Can I have a red ballpoint pen? No, those are for emergencies only. Can I have a staple? No, I, I, don't, I don't even have enough for myself. Oh. Can I have a staple? No, I, I, don't, I don't even have enough for myself. Oh. Can I have a piece of paper? No, the paper is going to be recycled. Can I have a number two pencil? No, I have to keep those in case I have to take a test. Can I have a highlighter pen? No. Those are on double secret reserve. Can I have a paper clip? No! Somebody might need them. What are those? Oh, those are old typewriter ribbons. Can I have a typewriter ribbon? Of course not. Nobody uses typewriters anymore. must be Pajama Sam, the personnel manager. Glad to see you could get here so quickly. No problem. You look like you're thinking about something. You're right. I'm trying to figure out what keeps clouds up in the air. Maybe it's a thread. What do you mean? The clouds. Maybe they hang them up with thread. Then what's the thread hanging from? Hmm. Good point. Mr. Someone? I have an idea about the clouds. 
Yeah? What's that? Maybe they can float because they have balloons inside. Say, you might be on to something there. Mostly. Not very interesting stuff, I'm afraid. Oh. Hey, I found one! Photo blue. Careful. I beg your pardon? Never mind. We were expecting someone else. Just dust around the picture frames for now. You can vacuum later when we've finished. Dust? But I... Perhaps we should try to come up with more questions for the employee quiz while we wait for Mr. Hafford. Yeah. <laughs> okay, how about this? Who played the monster in the original movie version of Frankenstein? That's not a very business-like question, is it? No, I suppose not. Another one! No one ever wants to come... <laughs> Good fortune to you. Good fortune to you. Maybe tomorrow night. Nonsense. We're inanimate objects. Is he gone yet? All right. He's gone. <laughs> I guess you're the boss, right? I'm the chairman of the board. Yes. What do you guys do besides have meetings? Having meetings is very important. We have to decide things, you know. Having meetings is how we decide things. What kind of things do you decide at meetings? Oh, we decide a lot of things. It's about setting down rules and procedures, mostly. Rules and procedures for what? Meetings. So, you have meetings to talk about how to have meetings? Very well put. I shall have to remember that. Do you ever have meetings to talk about how to have me? Think it would just be simpler if you stopped having meetings? Not have meetings? Preposterous! Then how would we decide on the procedures for having meetings? You wouldn't need to since you wouldn't be having any meetings. I'm really too busy for this sort of nonsense. How's the meeting going? Very well, thank you. How come you guys don't have chairs? We should have something to sit on, but there seems to be a little problem getting that organized. All in due time. Don't you guys get uncomfortable standing up all the time? Yeah, I'm stiff as a board. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bet all kinds of important work gets done in here, huh? <coughs> oh, excuse me. Well... I guess you could say that. What are you working on now? That's funny, I can't remember. What are you working on now? That's funny, I can't remember. Excuse me, how come you have a hat in the middle of the table? Oh, we're putting our questions in it. Questions? We're making a quiz to give people when we interview them for jobs. Say, you look pretty typical. How'd you like to help us test the questions? What do I have to do? Just pick questions out of the hat and see if you can answer them. That sounds easy enough. Go ahead and choose a question. How many lockers are there in the World Wide Weather Locker Room? Three. Yes, three is exactly right. Try another one. Okay. I'm ready to go ahead with the test now. All right then. Go ahead and choose a question. What is the key to having happy employees? That's very perceptive. All right, you got it. Try another one. 
Okay. Go ahead and choose a question. Name a song about rain. Raindrops keep falling on my head. Purple rain. Yes, very good. Way to go. Try another one. Okay. Go ahead and choose a question. What is unemployment? It's like a skin rash. It's money that you get when you don't have a job. When you fire people to... Although unemployment is often the result. You know, I wrote that question and I don't think it was very fair. Let's throw it out and I'll submit a different one. Go ahead and choose a question. What is kept in the first room of the warehouse? Hail. Yes, hail is right. Good going. Well, I think we've got a pretty good start on our quiz. Thank you very much, young man. You're welcome. Now, on to new business. We have to talk about a color scheme for the executive washroom renovation this spring. Are there any suggestions? How about candy apple red? <laughs> Robin's egg blue. There's someone in here. Hello again, sir. Or rainbow. Three parts sun, three parts sun, and three parts rain. <coughs> oh, what's this? They'll be after me gold. Um, um. for tornado. One part sun and five parts wind. for hurricane, four parts rain, and five parts wind.
it says recipe for apple. The machine is out of those seeds. Four parts sun, four parts rain, and it says recipe for banana. Three parts sun, five parts rain, and one banana seed. bananas. It's like they're food you're supposed to play with. It says recipe for a cucumber. Two parts sun, four parts rain, and one cucumber seed. Cucumbers grow on trees. Cucumbers are pickles that haven't gone sour yet. It says recipe for eggplant. Five parts sun, one part rain, and one eggplant seed. I didn't think eggplant grew on trees either. Nobody likes these except my brother, Mark. Inspector. You're the automated snowflake inspector? No. Inspector detector. Call me, Sid. It's shorter. You look awfully tired. I'm feeling a bit run down. I need something to eat. Sid, if you're the snowflake inspector detector, does that mean that you're related to the snowflake? Who finds him when he runs away? How come you're not looking for him right now? Too tired. Need a little power. <laughs> what kind of power do you need? Solar power from the sun. Oh. Oh, that's a strange. 
strong wind. hard enough. Sunshine. Ingredients. Sun. Use with caution. It says UV filter. Whatever that means. Hello? Is somebody out there? Hello? Who's there? Why, it's Wingnut, of course. Wingnut? You're on my list. I'm glad I found you. I'll bet. I am the most important piece of the sun machine, after all. Are you stuck down there? No, but I'm kind of lost. You'll have to come down here and get me out. I have to come down the drain? Yeah! Well, okay. Pajama Sam always helps those in need. What's a pajama Sam?
fooling around and rescue me already. I've got Wingnut. Now, I just have to bring him back to the sun machine. like some kind of solar collector. This is where Wingnut belongs. Boy, I can't leave you guys alone for two minutes without everything getting all out of whack, can I? Hmm? Oh, sure, that's right, Wingnut. Yeah, you must be the most important guy here. Looks better already. What would we do without you? You know, it actually does look better. <coughs> Hello, Sam. Sorry, we didn't mean to startle you. You fixed the sun machine. Yes, I did. That's so great. Yes, according to our weather monitors, things are already looking a little better. We wanted to tell you you were doing a good job. Oh, thanks. I'm happy to help. That's good, because there are still three more machines. I'll take care of those other machines right away. Very good. Bye now. <laughs> How do you like that? Not even a word about my performance. Typical. Again, sir. Good day, Mr. Sam. Isn't. Please insert more coins. I haven't got any more coins. Oh, great. <coughs> I wow, that's right. Mom always said not to look at the sun.
Hello again, sir. After use? Another one! That looks like something on the list of weather machine pieces I'm supposed to find. I think it's part of the Velocimometer. Hello? Hello? Velocimometer? Is that you? Yes. I'm scared. It's okay. Pajama Sam is here to help you. Phew. Uh, do you think you can get down from there? No, I don't think so. Well, never fear. I'll think of something. <laughs> Velocimometer. Yes? Maybe you could jump down and I'll catch you. Oh no, I can't even look. I'm afraid of high places. Hmm. Velocimometer? Yes? How did you manage to get up there in the first place? I'm not sure. How's it going up there? I'm scared. Don't worry. I'll get you down soon. Okay. <laughs> Hey, I 
can see all the way to the land of darkness through here. I'm looking for my Pajama Man comic books. Let's see if we can find 10 Pajama Man comic books. Click on these buttons to move around. Another one! Hey, I found one! There's one! To the wind machine? Sure thing, Velocimomometer. You can call me Velo if you want. Okay, Velo it is. Sam. I suppose you are. Say, where did you get that great outfit? This? It's my pajamas. I sleep in them. You have special clothes just for sleeping in. <laughs> of course. Why? Because... Oh, well, that's not important right now. We have to get you back to the rain machine. Yeah, I'll bet they miss me. Can you give me a lift? Sure.
again, sir. What happened here? Stuff like all the machines breaking and the weather getting messed up? Exactly. Do you have to do those reports very often? You'd be amazed. What kinds of things do you have to write in an initial, um... Initial incident report? We just say what it is that went wrong and we explain how we have the situation under control. How do we have the situation under control? Well, we're writing a report, aren't we? fun with you. Why? Well, because... Gotcha! What do you know? I guess you did. Alright, put me back in the machine already. Sam? Well, young man, I see you've fixed another weather machine. That's right. I brought the wide pipe back to the rain machine. The weather is already starting to get better. Yes, the sandstorms at the South Pole have come down a lot. You're doing a fine job. Keep up the good work. Okay, I've just got two more machines to go. Good. Keep us informed of your progress. Goodbye now. Hi, Sam. Hi, how's it? Sam, we wanted to say we're very impressed with the way you've been fixing the weather machines. Thank you. At this rate, we'll have everything ship shape before anyone even notices anything was wrong. Hang on for a second, Sam. That's our call waiting. <laughs> Lightning! <gasps> Mother, Mother nature. nature! What on earth is going on over there? <laughs> uh, nothing. Everything's under control. Don't hand me that claptrap. I read your incident report. You left out one or two things. Uh, what things would those be? Well, for example, why isn't there any snow on the Alps? My ski vacation starts tomorrow and there's no snow. Uh... I'm coming over there now and when I get there I would be. If everything's not perfect by the time she gets here, we'll be in big trouble. We'd better get to work updating them right away. I'll fix the snow machine. Thank you. And Sam? Yes? Please hurry. How's it going, Velo? I'm so happy to be back. We can look together. I can do the detecting if you'll carry me with you. Okay. 
The inspector's... The inspector's nearby! Calder? Specters around here somewhere. <laughs> the inspector's not anywhere near here. Warmer! <coughs> the inspector's nearby! <coughs> Calder! He's in this room! Move me around until we find him. It's nice to see you. Hello, Sid. This is Pajama Sam. He helped me find you. Hi. Delighted. Well, I'm sure glad we found you. You've got to come back to the snow machine with us right away. No way. No way. I'm not going back there. They don't appreciate me. This could be a problem. Don't worry. I'll think of something. <laughs> Inspector, you've got... The effort I make... Inspector, they really need you down at the snow machine. Huh. I work my circuits to the bone, and what thanks do I get? Nothing. All I want is a little recognition. You are really important, you know. I'll bet your boss must be having a hard time without you. Mr. No Talent Take All the Credit Employee of the Month every month can go melt. For all I care, I've never been Employee of the Month. Huh. Are you sure you won't come back to the snow machine? Until I get a little recognition for all the hard work I do, I'm staying right here. Inspector, look! You've been named Employee of the Month! Employee of the Month? I'm so happy! I can't wait to get back to my post and all those wonderful snowflakes! I'll take you there if you like. Would you? Gee, Sam, that would be great! You've made him very happy! Thank you! You're welcome! Will you be coming with us to the snow machine? You'll go on ahead. I'll catch up. Thank <laughs> you. 
another one! Hi, I'm Pajama Sam. How you do? I'm Jay Langston the Third. You may call me Langston. Okay, Langston. You can call me Sam. With pleasure. What's in this big book you've got? <gasps> Just snowflakes. That's a lot of snowflakes. Everyone ever made, actually. It's not a very exciting read. How come you have to look at all those pictures of snowflakes? Quality control! No two snowflakes can ever be alike, you know. So you have to check every... I'm working as fast as I can. This isn't normally my job, you know. I'm the section supervisor. Wouldn't it be better to use a computer to check all those snowflakes? Oh, we do. Ordinarily, the automated snowflake inspector takes care of this, and he's quite fast. The snowflake inspector? I've got him right here. Here we are, inspector. <coughs> inspector, are you uh, coming back to work? Oh, yes. Then I'm so glad to see you. And I, you. Attention, all personnel. The president is arriving. This is not a drill. Quick, everyone, get back to work. Mother Nature! No. I don't know. We've got to stall her. We'll think of something. Mother Nature. How nice to see you. Cut the chit chat, Thunder. I'm making a full inspection of the facility. And I'm warning you, if everything isn't absolutely perfect, you're both in deep trouble. What's this? <gasps> Mother Nature, you haven't seen my slides from my trip to Cleveland. I'll try to live with the disappointment. Let me see those monitors. <laughs> What's going on? Hmm. It looks like everything is working just fine. It is? Of course it is. He's our handyman, that's who. Keeps everything running smoothly. I don't know where we'd be without him. I'm happy to report that all the weather machines are working perfectly. Hmm. All right then. Thunder, lightning. Keep up the good work. We're not fired? Uh, certainly not. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to get to the elves. Sam, thank you so much for all your help. You fixed the last machine just in time. You saved our job. And the weather is all back to normal. Does that mean it'll be stormy at my house again? Yes. In fact, how would you like to take the controls for a little while? Me? Control the weather? Sure. <laughs> this controls how much rain there is. And this one is a...